Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm coming on just to show you how I made this Christmas tree. It's actually very simple. Um, the technique is simple. It gets a little bit fiddly when you're just doing the tiny ones at the top. Okay, but I will show you um, how to. Now I use book papers for this, different types of book paper, but you can use anything. I wouldn't suggest you use anything that's too thick, like a cardstock, because you will struggle with the folds. Um, so thin paper, paper is probably your best friend here. So what do you need? You need a little bit of glue and you need some squares of paper. So to make one which is this size, which is the tree itself is about, let's have a look about that, about eight and a half centimetres, three and a quarter inches. And it's got a spread of about nine centimeters, about three and a half inches. Okay, if you want to make one this size, you need four pieces of paper, unless you don't want to do the top one, and I'll talk about that when I make it up. Um, if you want to do the four, you need a nine centimeter square of paper, a seven centimeter square, a five centimeter square, and a three centimeter square. So let's just look at that nine centimeters they've got to be square otherwise it won't work very well nine centimeters which is about three and a half inches then two centimeters smaller which is seven centimeters or three quarters of an inch smaller two and three quarter inches five centimeters which is about two inches and three centimeters which is about one and a quarter inches if you want it in inches okay so let's get going what do you do easy peasy Starting, I'm going to start with the big one because it will be easier for you to see what I'm doing. Okay, she says if she can get the camera in focus. Take your piece of paper and fold it in half corner to corner. Like that. Open it up and do the same on the other corners. Okay, you can use a bone fold if you want to. I'm not going to at this stage. So you've got something like that. Now turn it over and fold it in half, edge to edge, just the one time. Okay, try and keep it neat, like that. And then open it out. Turn it back over. No, oh, no, don't turn it over, sorry. Keep it how it was. And then use those lines that you've just folded push it down and make yourself, oops, she says dropping it, a triangle. So let's do that again. You've just folded it in half, you open it out. You've got lines here, creases here. Use those creases to help you form that triangle. And it's got points there, points there. Right, if you want to use your bone folder, now is probably a good time to do it. Sharpen up those creases. Okay. Now we're going to fold it in half. And this is only to give us a centre line. So that's the important thing that we can fold against. It doesn't got to do any other purpose. So put your things down, put your triangle down. Use the top point not the one underneath. And you're going to fold that down and use this as a guide, this line that you've just folded. Hopefully you'll have less shadow than me and you'll be able to see what you're doing. And fold it down there. Don't worry too much about this end. I mean, try to be neat, but you know, if it doesn't, don't worry about any of them apart from the last one, because the last one that goes on the top is the only one that you will see. So if you make a bit of a mess up here like it, don't worry. Just look at what you're folding at the bottom. Okay, so there we go. So we've got something that looks like that. Right, now we're taking these fold, these flappy bits, and we're using this line along here, the bottom of the triangle, as a guide. So we take it from the centre and fold it up and along here. So basically you're just folding it over the point as neatly as you can. And do the same, take this one, fold it up along that line, 
but more importantly line it up so you've got a nice crisp point okay now if you wanted to you could glue that or a neat way the best way is to open it out I'll try to do one at a time open it out that's why open it out here like that and then you just fold it inside on itself okay so you've got this open push that in you should have a fold line where you've just folded it and poke it in it can either fold back on itself like that or you can fold it all the way in if you want to but I think I'm just going to do that for mine so there's that one same with this one open it out push this bit inside and fold it down and you should have a nice neat front of your tree that's it that is the first one and i'll do the next one i'll probably end up doing them all and show you how i put them together so point to point corner to corner straight across and i'm going to do this one quickly because you can always go back and do the other or watch the first one on slow motion if you wish so fold it in half fold it in half turn it over Fold it in half, edge to edge, just one time. Open it out. Use the folds that you've just created. Push it together. So you've got this triangle. fiddly that last one so there you have your bits for your tree um, to glue them together let's come up a little bit I give myself a little bit more room just pop a little bit of glue on the end of the bottom and then you can see you've got a kind of you've got the folded bit at the front but you've also kind of got a skirty bit at the back so just shove it up there like that don't push them down on top of each other because it won't look terribly tree like well you can do if you want to put more of them but really you want to leave a bit of a gap something like that sit them together same goes for this one and i'll show you the tree and you can decide for yourself whether that it's worth going the extra the extra mile so again with this one it's got a little skirty bit you just shove it on and line it up give it a pinch so that's what it looks like with just the three which i think is actually quite nice but if you wanted to put the fourth one on which is the tiny one again you just do the same but it's whether or not you feel it depends what your um dexterity is like if you struggle with tiny things maybe just either do the trees bigger and start with um like a five centimeter seven nine and eleven centimeter tree or something or just put three to it three on and not worry about it yeah i mean it is fiddly that last little one is quite fiddly and there we go now what i did with um my trunk to do a trunk she says is just used a scrap of paper and I folded it in on itself and I think I don't need all of that let's just cut some of that off I'm just going to cut a bit off the edge here don't need it very thick but I folded it just to make it look 
a bit better than just shoving a bit of paper underneath and then you can glue that on the bottom of the tree wherever you want it you could use a different color paper to what you like obviously Oops. if you wanted to um, so with this one because I've done it in vintage um, things before I stuck them together I went around the edge of all of them in frayed burlap or something like that if that's what you want or you could before you put it together when you've got the individual things go round the outside in a gold pen or some glitter or something like that. I'll do it before you build it because I think it'll be hard to get under that you could do it just about but it'll be hard to get under that um, while it's in in uh, its full Christmas tree form if you did them all separately put something on the outside on the edges before you put it together it would be easier so it's up to you what you want to do and then just stick that down wherever you want it or stick it on the bottom of it let's do that I did glue all that together actually both the inner bit and this outside a bit but I'm not going to worry for this demonstration oh I've just put that on the wrong side silly me stick it there instead put something like that and there you have a paper Christmas tree they're not that difficult to do at all once you've learned how to do it you can rustle them up quite quickly and um, let's just put those things there so that's what it looks like with these measurements obviously you could do a massive one you could just keep going bigger and bigger and bigger if you wanted to um, that's up to you but that's how I've done it. I saw it on Instagram or something like that. I don't know who the lady was who did it, but um, it was a good idea. Anyway, I thought I'd share that. Um, have fun if you make some. And um, I'll be back again soon. Cheerio for now.